Hey everybody, Benny P here with Lovely Lakes Fly Fishing. It's winter time and we're going to have another winter fishing video for you today. I'm out here on my local trout stream. This is a stock stream uh, stocked by our local Trout Unlimited in the state of Pennsylvania. And I know within the last few weeks, actually I think it was three weeks ago, our local Trout Unlimited stocked some fish in here. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try today. Uh, just a quick rundown. I think they put some rainbows and some browns in here. I'm not really sure of the size, but I'm going to guess that the fish aren't going to be giant because they couldn't have been in the hatchery very long. Uh, on today's video, I will be fishing my 10 foot 2 weight syndicate rod with my Reddington Run Reel. The line I'm using, and I love this in the winter time, this is the Rio Phipps European Nymph line, and it's absolutely awesome for nymph fishing. Off that nymph line, I have one of our Lovely Legs 5 foot indicator leaders. That leader comes with the tippet ring. I don't know if you can see it there. At the end of the cider line, there's a tippet ring. Off that tippet ring, I have my Rio Floriflex Strong tippet. I'm not using the 6.1. Down here, I have 4X. Actually, I am using that. That's the 4.5X. I'll be fishing 4X to my top fly, 4.5X to my bottom fly. And uh, I'll be fishing Y2Ks, Lively Legs Nymphs, and uh, anything I can find to catch these fish on today. So follow along. I have maybe two and a half hours to fish before I have to get back home with the kids and get ready for a game tonight. And I hope I can put some fish in the net. Okay, there's the first one of the day, and I just hooked them up on the Niagara Gold White Y2K. That's our barbless one with the tungsten bead. Actually, if you can see, he has longer fins. Very good condition for a hatchery stock trout. Uh, this is our local Trout Unlimited trout. Put them back in the water, and they're doing a great job with our fish. Most of these fish haven't been or weren't in the hatchery long, so they're not going to be of any size. <clears throat> if I catch anything of size, it's probably going to be a holdover, which is possible today. And uh, it's nice to get out here, do some more wintertime fishing in a stream that's close to my house, my home waters, and get into some beautiful little fish. Everybody's favorite spot at the bridge, stocked fish, are often stocked at bridges. There's usually deep holes underneath them. This one isn't the deepest hole, but I know for a fact fish get stocked here quite often. I got my bridge fish. One thing, if you're going to fish stock fish, easy access is the bridges. And that's where a lot of fish are stocked. That one as well hit the uh, Niagara Gold White Y2K. And once again, this is a pretty little brown. And though the fish aren't big, our local TU did a great job with these fish. They're not all beat up looking. Look how pretty that little stock fish is home back in they're doing a great job with these fish and it's nice for someone like me I do not have a wild trout stream within an hour of my house so I can come right here enjoy a couple hours on the water while the kids are at school and catch some fish and I'm thankful for that the old slingshot with this one. The fish hit like a ton of bricks. I gave it the old slingshot. Didn't mean to. And they're all hitting the wintertime pattern right now. All fresh stock fish all hitting the Y2K. It's great. Barbless fly comes right out. And it's just a wee little brownie. But look how pretty that thing is not too far off from looking like a wild fish. 
and look how pretty that little thing is. Hit like a ton of bricks, get them back in the water, and this water is not really carrying the mill. It's not moving too fast. And I just want to show you real quick. I have a size 12 double treble up top. That's a tungsten bead heavy fly that we sell. And there's the double treble. And then off the bottom, I also have a tungsten bead fly. And this is one of our barbless Y2Ks. And there's no weight. That's enough weight. It's getting the flies down. I'm getting a real natural drift. I'm not catching the bottom the whole time, but I'm definitely bouncing the bottom and it's looking great to the fish and it's working for me. Any pause in the line set the hook. That one there was a leaf. The next one may be a trout. Okay, here's a spot I'm gonna catch a fish. It's a deeper, longer run. It's not a hole but it's slower and there should be some wintertime fish sitting in here. Okay, just got a snag and I did not want to go out there and blow this section of water up and I snagged my bottom fly which was my Y2K my top fly is my double treble and that's why I put off my double treble I put 4.5 X tippet up top I have my 4 X tippet so if I do get in a snag with my bottom fly that breaks off and I don't lose everything Right, that's a great time to change it up, losing those flies. I put on a pink Cadillac up top and my bottom fly. Now I have on one of our micro mops and that's a chartreuse. Let's give that one a spin. And it only takes a couple casts and the pink Cadillac he delivers. This one's a little larger than the last couple trout. I'm not saying it's a giant, but definitely more size here. Give this guy a quick look. There's a nice looking little trout. Once again, that one's in perfect condition. Long fins. Pretty good fight for a small trout and we'll get him back in the water. Pink Cadillac, getting it done out here on a cold January day, 2022. So when you're out on the water, it's winter time. I sat here and I drifted that spot over and over. Ended up getting a snag and not catching a fish. And sometimes it's as simple as changing a fly up and giving the trout something different to look at. I changed that up, put on a pink Cadillac, and within a couple casts, I have another trout in the net. Now let's see if that pink Cadillac was total luck or if it's going to be the hit for the rest of the day. We may have ourselves a hit. And the pink Cadillac strikes again. Three casts, spot that I just drifted, Y2Ks through, over and over. Now keep in mind, these fish have only been in here probably three weeks, so they really don't know what food is at this point. But that being said, I'm having an absolute blast catching them. 
and there's that pink Cadillac. -y. That's our barbless pink Cadillac. Watch how easy that comes out. Just like that. And there's another wintertime trout in the net. Boom. That's what it's all about right there. Getting out, getting off the couch, getting out on the water. It's maybe 30 degrees out today. And I'm putting fish in the net and I'm having a blast. Okay, pink Cadillac. Do you guys like that? That's our OPRO rod holders that we sell at LiveLegs.com. When I'm talking to you and I need to get the fish out of the net, that's exactly where my rod's going, right there. Alright, let's see if uh, the pink Cadillac -y can do me some more justice. One more, just like that. Actually, I think this one's on the micro mop. Fish is given a much better fight. You can see I have a uh, side pressure on it. Lift it up in the net, and once again, a nicer size fish than those first ones I caught. And it is on the chartreuse micro mop. Still in its mouth. Let's hold it up here. Up. Oh. Just popped up. All right, well, good luck. Have fun. You too, thank you. Just had some nice people up on the trail. They saw the coyote video. Good luck to them. They're headed downstream a little bit. They're walking the trail. Let's go ahead and get this one. I'm going to do a little video with my iPhone here, and we're going to get to release. And this one is feisty. He's not giving up. Look at that. Nice sized one. Nice sized looking rainbow trout. And like we do it, catch and release. And back out into the deep. There we go. So I'm all pumped up about the pink caddy. And the chartreuse mini mop. With the tungsten bead, barbless, gets it done. Another tip I'd like to share right now. I just had a pretty good snag. I got out of the snag. And I'm checking my hooks. I'm feeling my line. I'm feeling to see if there's any kind of nicks in the line. And I feel nothing. Uh, definitely not the pink Cadillac. Sharp as can be. Micro mop, still sharp as can be. I don't know where I was snagged if I snagged on the bead. Line feels good. Hooks feel good. So I'm going to stay with this rig. But if you get a snag and your hooks get dolled up, your line feels like it has a fray, take the time and change that up because you never know when you're going to get into a fish of a lifetime and that right there could be the difference in catching that fish or missing that fish. Good tip to remember, doesn't matter what time of the year it is, always check your line after a snag and make sure everything's good. Alright, had a little fun with the pink Cadillac, I still have it on and see this is my brown trout right here, see that uh, flopping its tail around. but. Found a little bit of holding water, not the best water. I can't pass it up without trying to catch a fish out of it. Well, I got a little too excited and hit some other sections of water, and I can't get a final fish for the closing clip. I couldn't get another hit. I moved downstream. Normally, I work my way upstream, but my time restriction today has me just parking in one location and just working downstream real fast for the video and for my fishing adventure. And the further downstream I got, 
I got into zero fish, so I left that last spot with the pink Cadillac working when it was hot, and I'm gonna head back there, and I'm gonna see if I can get a closing clip. Okay, here we go. The only change up I did was I took the micro mop off the bottom, and I put my favorite all-time fly nymph pattern, the lively leg sulfur nymph on the bottom, and let's see if we can bring one home. There we go. Now we have a fish to end on. I had to come back to the honey hole and once again the pink Cadillac gets it done. There's that pink Cadillac right in the corner of his mouth. Barbless. Pops it right out. We'll get this fish back in the water. There it is, the last fish of the day. Alright, that's going to end it up. I'd like to thank everybody for following along. Be sure to hit that like button. Sub to the channel if you're not already subbed. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. A special thanks goes out to our local Trout Unlimited and my buddy Kaz who float stocked this section. Once again, thanks Trout Unlimited and Kaz, and until next time, best of luck on the water.